Welcome to Skooky, and thank you for signing up. I will be walking you through the basics of our platform. Now that you are signed up, you should see this home page when you log in. In order to have access to these tabs, you must first confirm your email address, then we will verify and approve your admin account. After signing up, the two most important things you must do are adding school's bank account and creating your school's payment items. Let's take a look at each tab. We have transactions, payment items, invoices, my schools, and so on. We have categorized tabs based on importance and frequency of use. In the transactions tab, getting reports is a quick process. Simply select the dates you wish to view and click on the search button to see all the transactions for your chosen date range. You are able to view date, payer name, student name, item name, and so on. You can also filter options by item, funds settle date, banks, and schools. Now we will take a look at Payment Items tab. Having your payment items list ready is recommended so you can set up and activate all parents to see and make payments. To add an item, click on the Add New Item button. Enter the requested information, such as item name, amount, bank account, and click Save. Scroll down the page to view additional settings. You can choose other ways to share your new item and add your own icon for the new item. Back on the Payment Items page, you can also view only active items or all items. While in the Payment Items, you can add a discount code. Choose the Discount Coupons tab and choose Add Discount Coupon. Name your coupon code. Input discount percent, start date and end date, and pay item. You can also input the number of times this code can be used. Then go ahead and choose to enable the discount code or disable as necessary. Choose Save. We also added quantity limit when creating the payment item and wishing to set a limit on how many can be sold. If your aftercare program has only 20 spots, you should put 20 here. Once the last spot has been paid for, the aftercare payment item will be disabled and disappear from Parent Portal. We added group dropdown if you have any payment items and would like to create categories. Simply click on the blue Add Group button on the top right to create groups. Change Amount Off will not allow users to edit the payment amount, and switching it to the On position will allow parents to edit the amount that you have if they wish to make partial payments. If you wish parents to get a little bit more information before making a payment, you can leave the information under the Details Comment section at the bottom. The information will be visible when parents scroll over the payment icon or when they click on details icon in their carts. Moving to the invoices tab, you see that you can choose a date range to view all invoices. Information includes invoice date, due date, student, payment item, amount, and whether or not the invoice has been paid as well as the status. To add a new invoice, click on the New Invoice tab. To add your school information, such as bank accounts, school profile, and students, click the My Schools tab. Under the school profile, you should also see the Absorb Fee function. You can either absorb them as a school or outsource the transactions fees for parents to pay. Just click on Edit to set your preference. When parents sign up with Skooky, they must enter their kids' names and grades. That information will appear under the Students tab. If you have more groups, or first grades for example, 
you can manually change it under class and click on the save button above. You will see changes immediately by clicking the filter by grade drop down. Community tab is where you can see all your parents and school officials who have signed up. Please keep in mind that the first school administrator who adds a bank account becomes the super admin user for that school and can define various user levels by clicking on the access button. All new school admins who sign up must be approved through this tab to fully or partially navigate the platform. The Form Builder tab lets you create surveys and questions. The Reporting tab will show the information and files collected from the users. Let's take a look at one of the examples. You will add a form name and then add a description for parents to learn more. You can also upload a picture. Clicking on the Add a Question will create blank question form at the bottom to edit that you must fill out. We provide you with five answer types, including the file upload. Then click Save Form. Here is the form that parents will see and be able to complete. Now that we have reviewed the most important tabs, let's move on to setting up your profile. You will find access to your profile in the upper right hand corner of the page. Click the tab, then click Profile. In your profile, you can change your password, change your name, title, and provide about information, as well as set your visibility preference. You are now ready to navigate Skooky on your own. We are constantly updating our tabs and content to bring you new and exciting features. We would love to hear your suggestions and feedback to better our platform, so please do not hesitate to email us at any time. Thank you for watching.